sciatica impersonators. A lumbar disc herniation is the most common cause of lumbar radiculopathy, which is pain radiating from the lower back into the lower extremity. However, there are a lot of other pathology that can present itself in symptoms and signs as lumbar radiculopathy or sciatica. We call them sciatica impersonators. They result in different clinical presentations, different workup, and different treatment. The clinician should be aware of these possible conditions, which will help the physician in considering a differential diagnosis when the patient comes with sciatica or radiating lower extremity pain. The physician must differentiate between the clinical presentation of lumbar radiculopathy from other conditions that have similar presentations. What is sciatica? Sciatica is pain in the back and the buttock that radiates down the leg in the dermatomal distribution. The most common cause of sciatica is disc herniation, but there are other causes that mimic lumbar radiculopathy. So if you suspect lumbar radiculopathy and you are not thinking about the differential diagnosis, you may end up by making the wrong diagnosis and giving the wrong treatment or doing an unnecessary surgery. This condition becomes complicated because when the patient gets an MRI, the doctor may find a disc bulge or disc herniation in the MRI. It doesn't mean the complaint of sciatica caused by the disc herniation or bulge that's present in the MRI, because there's a lot of asymptomatic lumbar disc bulge or herniation. So we need to correlate these findings in the MRI with the clinical examination of the patient. Just because the patient has lumbar radiculopathy and an MRI that shows a disc bulge or herniation, it doesn't mean the patient has a symptomatic disc herniation that caused this radiculopathy. So do not rely on the MRI findings alone. So what is the most common conditions that mimic or impersonate lumbar radiculopathy or disc herniation? Number one, piriformis syndrome. Number two, lumbar stenosis. Number three, hip pathology, especially arthritis of the hip. Number four, sacroiliac joint pain. Number five, peripheral neuropathy. Number six, compressive neuropathy means compression of a nerve. Number seven, vascular problems. In general, the most common cause of sciatica is lumbar disc herniation, which usually occurs in patients who are younger than 50 years old. The tear usually begins in the posterolateral annulus of the disc because this is the weakest area, and it is innervated by rich sensory pain fibers. Initially, the patient will complain of severe low back pain. And as the condition of the lumbar disc pathology progress, the nucleus bulbosus or the soft gelatinous part of the intervertebral disc will herniate through the tear into the spinal canal, compressing and chemically irritating the nerve root, which causes radicular pain. In addition to low back pain, the patient will have buttock and leg pain with other clinical findings of disc herniation that irritates the nerve, such as numbness, tingling, and possible weakness of the muscles.